Hey there, my fellow intellectuals. How are you doing tonight? Kyle here with another vlog. It's been a while since I made one of these, so I figured might as well make one, show you guys what I've been up to, and it is currently Monday night. Yes, I missed a whole Monday worth of material, but I figure I'll just show you guys the rest of my week, just so you guys know what I'm up to on a weekly basis. And today was quite busy. I had a staff meeting, and then I ended up working for stuff on my paper in the afternoon, and throughout the rest of the afternoon and early evening. And now it's like 10 o'clock and I have to still grade. Yes, I'm a TA, so I have to grade, get some assignments graded. And uh, I was like, yeah, let's avoid grading by just turning on the camera and talking to you guys for a sec. But yeah, that's currently the plan before I go to bed tonight. And then I'll show you guys what's going on the rest of the week. So let's get started with the grading. So some of you may wonder what I TA exactly at UC Irvine, and it is this class right here. It is Physics 3LC, which is a lab-based course that is designed to be a waves and optics class for bio and pre-medical majors here at UC Irvine. So students who are interested in going to med school and possibly going to be doctors one day. And Unfortunately, this quarter, we can't be on campus, right? So the COVID-19 pandemic has forced us to go online, and hence all of the experiments are essentially done for them in the sense that someone you know, took the time to do the experiments that are supposed to be done in the lab. They took pictures of all the setups, and they recorded the data, and we give the students the data so they can just analyze it. And they're essentially like working backwards. So they already have data, but they have to connect that to the theory in the of the lab, right? They have to connect the experiment with the theory, and uh, we grade based on their data analysis and some of their free response questions. So I have about 30 reports to grade each week, and I almost dropped the lab manual. Don't drop the lab manual. And um, yeah, 30 reports just about to grade each week. I have 60 students, but they work in pairs, so that's one report per pair, and yeah, I have to grade uh, 10 tonight. That's the schedule I've sort of set for myself. I've organized it so that I've, I don't have to do all the grading at once. I sort of split it up sort of in a divide and conquer kind of strategy. So yeah, that's the, that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. So let's begin, shall we? So it is 12.37 in the morning on Tuesday morning, and I just finished my first batch of grading, which is approximately one third of all the grading I have to do, and it took me like two and a half hours. So yeah, I'm tired. I'm going to go see you guys in like seven to eight hours when I wake up. So yeah, see you then. Good morning all, it's 8.22 on Tuesday. I have to get started with my day now and make some breakfast because I have a lot to do today. Tuesday is a very busy day for me, usually every week, because I have a combination of stuff I have to do for my class because I start teaching tomorrow and I also have a research meeting tomorrow. So I have to do quite a few things today. So let's just get started. So now that I've had my breakfast, I like to write my agenda down for the day in a planner. So this is it right here. I'm going to write down the things I need to do for the day. And then I have to get ready for a COVID test at 10, 10 a.m. It's really quick. It only takes like five to 10 minutes. And so I'm going to see if I can get anything done in that 35 minute time interval between now and then. So the craziest thing just happened with my appointment. So normally my COVID testing site is literally right outside my apartment. It takes like two minutes to walk to. But for some reason they moved 
the site down the street, which is like a 10 to 15 minute walk. And I saw this with like four or five minutes left to go. And they said they would charge me a fee if I missed my appointment. So I just made a sprint to my car, got in my car and then drove down the street, quickly parked and then ran into the testing site. So I got my COVID test, but my goodness, that was so stressful. So in typical graduate school fashion, my advisor has emailed me and added a few more things to my agenda today that I didn't account for. So I actually have much more to do today than I had planned to do. So yeah, that's the life. Gotta get to it now. Sometimes in graduate school, you just need to buy yourself some pizza and other food just to get through a day. And uh, today is one of those days because I just ordered some pizza right here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat it because I'm kind of stressed and I'm kind of hungry. So yeah, this is what I do when I'm stressed out. <laughs> the benefit of buying a lot of food is that you can have it for multiple meals, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing for dinner and probably lunch and dinner tomorrow. So that's just how it goes sometimes. So it is 10 o'clock at night on Tuesday. I still haven't finished everything I need to get done yet, but I'm just taking a little bit of a break because I'm tired and it looks like I might be up past midnight tonight. So yeah, just bracing for that. And I just had an idea of how to code something up that I need to do. So I'm gonna try and explore that idea. Hopefully I'll get it done before too late and I'll let you guys know how it goes. So it is 12.40 a.m. in the morning, Wednesday morning, and unfortunately my idea did not work. It came pretty close, but it did not quite work out the way that I had hoped it would. So I think I'm just going to stop for the night now. I'm just, I'm just dead tired. I can't figure it out at the moment. So I think I just need to sleep because I cannot process. Yeah, I can't process things right now. So it's Wednesday around noontime. I had a meeting with my advisor today about research stuff, but I also sort of told him that I was just really busy with my teaching assignment, that I haven't been able to get everything that I wanted to get done, done, and he was super understanding. That was just super nice to hear him, you know, know that my situation is kind of rough right now with my teaching and that, you know, it's okay that I'm not meeting all the deadlines that he expected at the, at the beginning. So that was nice, just having a good conversation with him. Now I have to get ready for my class at 2.30, and I'm gonna prepare some notes for that and I will eat lunch first. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Wednesday is a lot, but we're gonna try and make it happen. So it's like 8.30 now at night and I taught today from 2.30 to 5.20. So that was long, but it went well, I think. And I've also just been finishing up grading for one of my sections that I have to teach tomorrow. I wanna to try and get the grades into them before we meet again. So yeah, that's, that's Wednesday. It's a lot of teaching and responsibilities and I'm exhausted, to be honest. I feel like I've just been telling you guys how tired I've been this whole week, but I've really been tired. And hopefully you guys can understand why I'm tired. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the life of the PhD student sometimes. And uh, this is a real look into what one has to do to stay on top of things. So it is midnight and I just finished the second third of my grading. I took a bit of a break between I think like 8 or 9 to 10 and then I graded from like 10 on to 12. 12. So yeah, another two hours of grading to the schedule and uh, I bet you can guess what I'm about to say but I'm so tired and someone needs to keep count. Maybe someone keep a counter below that's how many times I've referenced how tired I felt this week. And uh, it's now officially Thursday. So just need to survive Thursday and Friday. And then I'm in the clear. All right, guys. So it is Thursday at 10, 20 a.m. in the morning. I have to teach at 11 a.m. So I got about 40 minutes left. I don't know if I told you guys what I'm teaching this week, but I was teaching this lab, week five, dispersion, line spectra, and filters. So we're halfway through the quarter, thank goodness. And this is my second class of the week. So I already taught this yesterday, as I mentioned before. And usually after I teach it once, I usually have a good idea of where they're going to be the most confused throughout the lab. So I, re I really like teaching the later sections in the week because I've already sort of worked out all the problem areas from the first time I taught it. So 
that's what I'm going to be doing in about 45 or 40 minutes, and then I will have to do some stuff for my research. I have to make some plots for my advisor because he's giving a talk next week, and he wants me to include some progress on my my work. So I'm going to be making some plots for him today, and that's the agenda. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to sit down and get ready to teach. So see you guys later in the day. So I just finished my lab section a few minutes ago and I'm heating up lunch. I'm having some leftover pizza that I bought the other day. Don't hate on leftover pizza. That's exactly what grad students live off of, okay? Sometimes we don't have time to cook. We have to just order out and then we just save it for a couple of meals. That's how you do it. That's how you get through certain days of the week when you are just under pressure and have a lot of things to do. So this afternoon, I'm going to spend some time learning about this program known as CARTA, which is on the screen right there. It is a visualization program that is meant to work with uh, data cubes, Alma data cubes, which is what I work with in terms of my research. So a data cube is essentially a way to store data and where you have two spatial axes and a spectral axis. So it's like the face of this cube would be the spatial part and then if you go into, into the cube, you're going into the spectral or frequency or velocity axis for Alma data. And it was just uh, told to me about my advisor a few days ago. And so I really, I'm curious about this. I think it might help me in my research a little bit in terms of making some nice visualizations and plots and I wanna spend some time learning about it. So that's the plan for this afternoon. So I played around with Carter some more and I found this very, very interesting molecular gas disc, which I'm gonna show you guys right there. It kind of looks like a steering wheel or like an eye, but it appears to me that there's a distinct inner and outer component of this gas disc, right? So you can see this really, really yellow greenish region has a very strong amount of intensity relative to the outer region. So it seems like there's this distinct inner and outer component, which I haven't really seen anything like this before, so that's very cool. Might be a little bit challenging to model and try and get a mass of its black hole, but uh, I think that's a very, very interesting target nonetheless that um, I'm definitely going to pay some attention to moving forward with my research. So it is 10.40, if I got that correct, yeah, 10.41 at night, and I I've just taken the last hour, two hour and a half off because my head was hurting after dinner and I just really could not focus on doing more work because of the pain I was feeling and so I just have decided to take it a little bit easy and when my head starts to hurt I, I know I've been just working too hard um, and I've been neglecting my health so I need to start thinking about it some more so definitely take care of yourself when you're faced in these situations. I know it can feel like you know, getting all this work done is the most important thing, but really health is the most important thing and you cannot do more work if, you know, you're just not physically capable of doing it or just hurting yourself in the process. So strongly advocate taking breaks and, you know, stopping if you feel like you need to stop. So it is getting close to 11 and I teach at 8 in the morning. So I like to try and get a decent amount of sleep, which means I usually have to go to bed around 11 uh, on Thursdays to teach my 8 a.m. class. So I think that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to stop recording, and I'll see you guys for the end of the week. So, yeah. See you later. Happy Friday, everyone. It is 7.40 in the morning, and I have an 8 a.m. class to teach in 20 minutes, so can't talk for long. Just wanted to say, thank goodness it's Friday. I'm just so ready for this week to be over, and I'm sure you guys... Uh, can understand why. So I'm going to make some tea really quickly and then I'm going to get ready to get on Zoom and teach for the next three hours. So yeah, here we go. So I finished teaching. It's now 12.30 in the afternoon. I am going to get some lunch. I ordered some food at a restaurant a few minutes away by car. So I'm going to drive over there, get the food, and then I have a meeting at three o'clock today for group meeting for my research group. So I have to do some stuff in advance for that and then it'll be the end of scheduled things for the week thank goodness it's just been a long long week as you guys have seen but it's finally coming to an end and i'm just looking forward to it so time to get some lunch so i just got some shrimp fried rice and i also got some taro milk tea with boba it's like the classic combination that i've been getting at this restaurant over the past couple of years so i am going to dig in because this this looks good 
Okay, so it is 5 o'clock on Friday. It is the end of the week. I'm done with all my scheduled Zoom meetings, and I am, believe it or not, exhausted. I'm just so tired. I'm so glad that this week is done, and I think I'm going to end my vlog of the week right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this first ever weekly vlog in my PhD life, and I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you found this entertaining and useful, and it gave you an insight as to what I do as a PhD student here at UC Irvine. That's it for the weekly vlog, but uh, stay tuned for more. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment below talking about what you liked uh, in terms of what you saw this week, and I will see you in another vlog. Have a good one, everyone.